Right guys, it's been a while. Um, this isn't a brewing video, this is um, something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be replacing um, the fluorescent lights uh, with some LED ones, which is very exciting, uh, for a couple of different reasons, but really the main reason I'm just, just making this quick video is I didn't see any uh, reviews, any video reviews of these online, they're from Toolstation. Um, they're kind of uh, totally, um, they're not um, replaceable, it's just like kind of, sorry, the tubes aren't replaceable, it's kind of like all, all fixed. Um, so the idea is you whip the old one out and uh, bung the new one in, that's the plan. Uh, so we're going to see how we get on with that, um, but like I say, I didn't see any, couldn't see any decent uh, video reviews on there. Uh, so I thought I'd just, uh, just bung up there and then we can compare an old, uh, well this one up here, that's the old one, which is a T8 uh, 58 watt fluorescent uh, cool, cool white tube it's got in there. Uh, and then we've got, well, a hill where we just took the old one down. So yeah, gonna give it a go. And this, if you are looking at these, this is the one we're, we're swapping it out with. It looks tons better. Um, the actual unit itself, as to how bright it's gonna be, don't know. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna pause there um, and we're gonna get this fitted and we'll see. Right, so this is just a bit of a close up then of the actual units themselves. They are so much uh, sleeker than the old ones, look really good. Uh, to crack them open, there's a couple of tabs just there that you press down and then once you've done that, it'll open up. Uh, so one of the reasons I went for this was um, it had a central um, fixing, um, cable fixing-y bit, <laughs> technical term. A lot of the other ones I saw had, um, had them fixed at the end. Um, so that's one of the main reasons, but I've got to say it looks really, really slick. This does. So uh, we're going to just mark out the uh, the holes up on the um, ceiling. Uh, we'll get it up and we'll uh, stick some cable bits in in there, and uh, we'll see how we get on. Key dokey. Right. Well, here we go. We've got it um, fixed. Uh, the fixing points. That was dead easy actually because um, those ones that have got the um, Kind of bigger hole and then the actual fixing point so you can just push it up and uh, then just slide it along so yeah it's dead easy to to uh, to do um got the wires all plugged in i think that's called a piano connector or something weird um uh, there were some things on the um some of the reviews said they weren't they weren't so good and preferred the sort of um block connector type things seems to be okay with those but I, you know um don't know if we have a personal choice. So we're all good on there. Um, let's get it closed up and fire it up. All right, well, it's still it's still daytime, so probably not the best. Day. Let's just see if it works. Ah, hang on a second. Shall I need to plug, uh, where is it? Turn that one on, try that again. And, um, right, stand back. Ah, yeah, lovely. That is, uh, that's, that's really good. That's a lot brighter. We're going to come back and do this actually when it's dark. So that's when uh, lights work best. Uh, but initial, um, initial reaction, it looks incredible. It looks much more modern, better. It was a slight difference, you can see. I'm just going to put a lick, lick of paint up on there because the dimensions look like they're slightly different. Um, yeah, we're going to come back and do this. Um, do this when it's dark, let's do that, that's the sensible thing to do, and then we'll compare. Okay, right, we're done. It's dark, you can see out there, um, and uh, I'm just going to show you the lights. So here is the LED one, uh, looks really cool that, really slick, and uh, we're going to move on over to the fluorescent. Now I'm going to show you these turning on in a minute just to see how the difference um, between sort of start up, but I did just leave the, I just wanted to leave them the fluorescent on for a bit because they get a bit bright, don't they? Um, they need to be on for a few, few, I don't know, minutes or whatever, um, to be brighter. So you can see this difference, well, you might not be able to see on here, let's just give you a bit of a, a wander around. You can see there's a difference in colour temperature. They're both meant to be um, cool white, uh, but there's a, there is a, a difference in temperature. That one's in fact, I'm sure they're both. I'm sure they're both meant to be 4,000K. Um, there is a difference. Brightness-wise, it's really difficult to tell. Um, 
initially I was thinking, I think they're as bright as each other, but I kind of don't know how they can be because on the specs, um, this one, the LED one is 3200 lumen and the fluorescent is 5000, no, 3300 for the LED one and 5200 for the fluorescent one. Um, so we'll just do a quick on-off test so you can see the speed at uh, just to see how much quicker it turns on. It turns on quicker anyway because it's an LED. Uh, but gotta say these look really good. Show you the packaging again just in case you want to pick one of these up. This is the four foot, the five foot version. Um, so far so good. If I have any problems, then I'll just put a link, not a link. I'll put um, a note down below, but. If there's no if there's no note no below, then you can be sure that these things have worked out all right. So there you go. I'll just show you the um, uh, the on off. It's weird actually. There's still always a bit of a glow, which I didn't realise it did that. I'm sure, you can't see it with, with the LED. Okay, um, yeah, you can see it's a fair old delay. Um, dead impressed. Um, there you go. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. Hope that's useful. Um, yeah, right. Cheers.